Yeah, coming to a good world, VTS. That's all received, sir. Ken, thank you. Can you confirm your draft and uh, passenger and crew numbers? Understood, sir. And your crew numbers? That's coming to Google VTS, that's all received, sir. So give me a call again once you're underway, and I will give you an update on the uh, traffic. NYK Demeter, Sananda VTS. Caribbean star, this is Southampton VTS. Uh, good afternoon. I see you're well within the Southampton VTS area. Can you tell me your intentions, please? I believe your pilot isn't until 1815, 18, 15 this evening, two hours and 15 minutes from now. That's all received, sir. Thank you. If you can also support and let the MYK uh, Demeter in, she's aboarding a pilot at 1700 um, east of the tower. If I can take some details, please, from you, your last port of call, your deepest saltwater draft. Over. Ahoy, shipmates! It's another afternoon departure. Two cruise ships this afternoon. The Sky Princess right in front of us here at the Ocean Terminal. 46 berth. And then a little bit further up in port. I can just show you that. We have the Aurora. There we go. She's up. That's the other end. She'll be sailing past us at 4.30. So that should give us... Pretty much constant ship coverage this afternoon. It's a touch windy out there again. Very windy over the weekend. We had the half marathon or full marathon on Sunday and it was very windy. So I'll have a quick look at the conditions here. Gusting up to 18, 19 knots. Visibility is pretty good though. I noticed that earlier when I was looking. Got some good views down Southampton Water. And it's at about 12C. It's not, can't quite make up its mind. Is it spring or is it winter or is it summer? It's in that sort of strange time of year where you're not quite sure whether to put a jumper on or take your raincoat with you. Nope, get rid of that. It's always on repeat. Right, so Port Cam is, does like to misbehave quite a lot, but it's eventually I've got it working. It's only temporarily installed at the moment. And it doesn't like being turned on. It uh, gets very grumpy. It takes many, many times to get that working. But it's on now. And we've heard on the radio that Sky Princess is due to depart any moment now. Let's put the radio back on, shall we? Quite interesting. Well, we should be able to hear the passenger numbers as well. Uh, Sky Princess, she is off on a seven night cruise down to Spain. Uh, yes, yeah, Sky Princess, sorry, but, uh, Jim. Uh, yeah, we've got people talking at the nab. I'm trying to uh, organize traffic. Mm, yep, something about the uh, ships at the nab. Yeah, Sky Princess off on a seven night Spain and France cruise via La Coruna, Bilbao. Le Verdon, Sulemur, and Cherbourg. Hopefully it's not going to be too windy. The forecast for tomorrow night is super windy. So, where will they be tomorrow night? They might be sort of travelling down to Spain. So they could be in for a choppy ride on the way to Spain. Oh, I forgot. In case you're wondering, I am the captain of the Sun Ships YouTube channel. I always forget I can do that. I do like that little button. And I well, haven't got... 
Caribbean Star, Salam de VTS, Channel 12. I haven't had Paul. Yeah, Caribbean Star, Salam de VTS, advice. Alter your course to the north, alter your course to the north. Over. Someone's being told to go to the north. It looks like the lines are coming down. Those all happens at once, didn't they? Okay, we've got to see pretty much all the lines going. She's probably going to go. Yeah, what direction was the wind? Caribbean to start and we just had to receive that. Uh, alter your course to four, uh, to the north, and uh, reduce your speed. So the. Uh... Oh, we there, shipmate Carol Finnis. A uh, four ninety nine pound donation, or many thanks for that, Carol. This will get me a rum a mug or two of grog of rum. Keep me satisfied. Chap there on the well deck, supervising the lines coming in. Uh, Sky Princess, her VTS. Yep, go ahead. Sir. Some reason we're not picking up Sky Princess, even though we can see her. That's all, Steve. My apologies for that. Uh, yeah, I just had to sort that out. I'd imagine that she just radioed in to say that she's uh, singling up. It'll just be the line at the bow, the line at the stern, the pointy end and the blunt end holding her in. I was just checking on the wind. The wind is not too windy. I mean, it's still gusting. It can be gusting up around the 18 knots, but it is coming directly onto the bow. I was wondering if we might see some tugs, because I do see there are some tugs going to the other end of port. Which I'm wondering if they're going to be there for Aurora. Svitzer Eastern is heading over maybe for Aurora. Don't know. Keep an eye on that. We've got plenty of shipmates in the chat who we got here today on board. Uh, shipmate Ellie Murley, she's always very keen to hear that. Shipmate Deborah Speller, hoy there, Deborah. Ah, hoy there, Colin Wikes. And hoy there, Gainer England, who says, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Haven't been on for a while, so nice to be back. Yes, it's the improvement in the weather. Makes a big difference. Clocks go forward, so it makes it lighter in the evenings, better weather, and also more ships. Makes it uh, a lot easier for ships TV to go ahead. In the winter, it's always so tricky. It's always so dark, miserable. Lots of <clears throat> ships coming this month. I'm sure I'll get some more live streams going. Uh, hoy there, Graham L. And hoy there, Matt Carter. And hoy there, Jill, who says, hope everyone has a good sail. Yes, I hope uh, they've taken their seasickness tablets for this evening, because I think they might be in for a bit of a windy ride. MYK Demeter, Sir Andrew, sir. Off to again, sir. In fact, the local... The local, actually I'm not quite sure, it must be the Environment Agency. Yes, the Environment Agency has issued a flood warning for the River Itchin this evening. Uh, MYK Demeter, Salando Sorry, sir, can you say again, please? With the uh, force, Storm Force 6 winds, they're predicting a tidal surge of 0.82 metres over. Yeah, Elf Sprinter, Salando VTS, yes. Stand by, sir. MYK Demeter, VTS, that's uh, all understood, sir. Confirm your pilot boarding time of 1700 at uh, Pilot Station Bravo. Uh, information for you, you can come up uh, east of the Altenab boys, east of the Altenab boys, direct to Pilot Station um, Bravo. Traffic information, the uh, Mont Saint-Michel, um, four miles south of the nab tower, outward bound uh, to the uh, southeast. And we <coughs> maintain a good listening watch on channel 12 and 09, and the pilot launch will call you on his way to you with instructions, sir. Yes, yeah, so this will be the highest tide on the River Itchin. I'll get interrupted by a chap on his radio there, VTS, since the 14th of February 2014. It's going to be midnight tonight. I did think about going out and seeing if I could film some of that, but might be a bit dark. MYK Demeter VTS, that's all correct, sir. I'm going to turn off the radio. It's slightly getting in the way. So the lines are down now. As you can see, the final bow lines are being taken in. Chaps of the well deck got good visibility. Let's see at any moment now, start to head backwards ever so slightly. Looks like it's brightening up. There have been some darker clouds over earlier, but uh, it's definitely improved. 
as you can see the flag on the bow of the Sky Princess fluttering away there. Still, I can say, still a decent breeze. Get a good view of the wing bridge. There we go. You can see the officers there on the wing bridge looking up and down the dockside there, making sure that the lines are coming in. The pilot knows what to do. A couple of shipmates on the balconies. We haven't had any wavers for a little while. Never know. Might get some wavers this evening. We did have that period of time where people were coming in with very strange county flags of the UK. It was a real challenge that was. Yeah, it looks like all lines are clear now. It's starting to head back. Or she'll head off forward to the Southampton water, the Solent, and possibly, I reckon, storms across the channel. Well, I would think storms across the channel and round the sort of Brittany area of France, possibly round down towards the Bay of Biscay. Fortunately, I haven't got a microphone going, but we can certainly hear the horns where I am. If I can... No, itchy cam is rather uh, upset with the wind. I don't know if you heard that on itching cam. I did turn up itching cam. I was suspecting you got an ear full of wind noise, I suspect. But the Princess Cruises do like to play the theme from the love boat very loudly. Often to the annoyance of residents in the port. Which I think her first stop, according to my information, is La Coruna in Spain. That's right round the Bay of Biscay. And if it is, she's trying to cross Bay of Biscay, I think it's going to be a bumpy night for the Sky Princess. But it's a big ship. I think it probably wouldn't feel too much unpleasantness. Just make sure you filled yourself up at the buffet beforehand and then you get yourself a good night's sleep. Uh, apparently the sound wasn't that brilliant. Could have been better elsewhere. I'll have to, I'll have to investigate that further for next time. But off she heads now. Off forwards. Oh, shipmate Ben Joyce says that they are resting at home after working on the Sky Princess today. Nice to see her sail away. Was it a bit windy down there, shipmate? Down the dock, it was, uh, appears to be windy on the flags. Appreciate this camera is a bit of a wonky angle. Yes, we haven't seen the big yellow hands for a long time. We get uh, some. Uh, it's the um, cruise monkeys. I think they've got a massive set of yellow hands. There we go. Sky Princess just edging forwards now on the way out down south of the water, coming away from the ocean terminal. Not much of a view from Itchin Cam, but there is unusually red uh, red kestrel is over there. Not entirely sure why she's there. She's not used during the day. She's freight only, so she tends to run early in the morning till sort of midday while well, she's delivering freight and then she parks up somewhere but normally if she parks uh, normally she'll park over here uh, 
Yep, there you go. Normally she'll park over here in front of uh, Sky Princess on that along there. Don't know why she's around the corner. Sky Princess picking up some speed now, probably. Picking up to ooh, yeah, one knot, according to AIS. Keep an eye on the other cameras, see if we get a better view in a second or two. I think Netly Cam is a touch on the wibbly wobbly side. No, I can't even see it yet. Oh, yeah, it's calmed down a bit. Once, as I were looking at quarter past four, I haven't heard from Aurora on the radio. Actually, I'll turn the radio off now, so I probably wouldn't. But I, normally, they radio in half an hour or so beforehand to say that everything is going well. Aurora is further up the dock. Uh, we are we're looking at Sky Princess down here and Aurora is all the way up here so we'll see Aurora come past our location and head off down and that she is due to depart at 4.30 but I've not heard of anything sometimes the pilots are very cautious and radio in well in advance and other times they just seem to play it loose I have noticed that the clock is now working on this tower here. This is very good. For a long time, it was rather annoying because not only was it the wrong time, it was the wrong time on each face as well. Each face had a different time, but someone's obviously been in there and popped a couple of AA batteries in. And now it's all working. Oh, shipmate Ben Jones, Ben Joyce rather. Oh, he's excellent. He's uh, he's my, he's definitely my man in the ports. He's always going on. So, oh, he's talking about Red Kestrel, I think. Uh, that berth was occupied today by builders doing some maintenance on the berth. Hence Kestrel's current home. The aha, well, thanks, shipmate. You are just full of great information there, aren't you? Oh yes, I asked him about the wind earlier. Yeah, he said incredibly windy. Picked up towards the afternoon. Horrid, harsh, cold wind. Couldn't look towards the sea without getting a face full. Whoa. Ooh, that's, that's that would be my thoughts i had that feeling when i was out there every now and again the sun was good but yep i think if you're exposed quite unpleasant well, that's really helpful thank you for that shipmate ben joyce you are a fountain of information oh the tizzy c i see your name pop up in the chat there So we've got the Aurora departing in, well, supposedly 15 minutes or so. After that, I'm not sure what's going on for the rest of the week. Let's have a quick, I'm having a quick look at the VTS schedule. So we've got, yeah, it's pretty quiet for the rest of the week. Still not a uh, busy cruise season yet. MSC Uribia on Saturday and then the PO Iona on sorry MSU Ruby on Friday, Iona on Saturday, Arvia on Sunday, Arcadia on Monday and Sky Princess. Hmm. But Monday seems to be the busiest day of the week at the moment. We've got a view on itching cam here. Yep, yeah, there's the red kestrel as we discovered Thanks to shipmate Ben Joyce, out, out there, because of work on her usual berth. <laughs> oh, another update from shipmate Ben Joyce, he works down the port. Does he prefer the horizon terminal? Because you're inside for baggage, while ocean terminal is all out in the open. And done at the south end of the terminal. Oh, but very unpleasant. So you're at the windiest end of the terminal in the outside. Yeah, I can see why you might like Horizon Terminal. Oh, hoy there, shipmate. Uh, I'm sure it's George Monk. I see that name come up somewhere. I'm going back for the chat here. Hoy there, shipmate. Keith Swadling says, uh, Hello, shipmates. Great to have a live stream. Thank you. Yes, I thought uh, 
They're all a bit random at the moment, the live streams, aren't they? We've had a sort of like a lunchtime one when we had a ship depart at lunchtime. That was uh, the P&O ship off to Rotterdam for a refit. I'm trying to think which name that was. I think it was, oh, was that Aurora. I think it was Aurora. So we've had uh, and we had an afternoon arrival. So yeah, I've had a, a few interesting departures from the norm. I'll still try and get back into a more regular routine. Uh, shipmate Dawn Griswell says she's new on here. She's uh, busy watching on the TV and typing on her phone. Yep, I think that's the the usual way that people uh, attempt this. Sky Princess registered in the port of Hamilton there. Of course, Sky Princess, relatively new ship here in the port of Southampton, launched in 2019. Let me get to look right down the port side here. There's a few shipmates out on the decks, yes. A few on their balconies. I haven't heard any passenger or crew numbers, although I've turned the radio off, that probably would explain it. Uh, certainly a decent size ship, uh, capacity for 3,660 passengers and 1,346 crew. Yeah, you can see the flags blowing really well up the top there. Uh, shipmate Allen says, do I know when the ocean terminal camera... We'll be back up and running. Or, or is it more effectively known as cruise cam? Unfortunately, the building that cruise cam is on is covered in scaffolding due to cladding replacement works. And I know it's been delayed. So it was supposed to have finished in May time. And I'm not entirely sure they've got a completion date, but I, I don't think it will be until at the end of this year. Unfortunately, I can't give you much more information than that because that's all I have. Oh, shipmate Dawn Creswell. So not only is she multitasking with the live ship, servant ships, ships TV on her television and typing on her phone, she's hooked to cruising. First cruise was last year on Anthem of the Seams to France. And now she's hooked. She was afraid of open water and ships before, and now it's all fine. Good shipmate, that's what I like to hear. Yes, you don't. I could understand you might get worried of open water and the ships, but in reality, they're so large, it's, you might as well be on a, a on a building. There's one of the red funnels coming in. So then, uh, shipmate Dawn Creswell, as you're busy chatting away there, what is your next cruise? Have you booked one up for this year, or have you, are you waiting to find a deal? If you are interested, you could always contact our channel sponsor. That's uh, Paul from Love Cruises. He'll certainly give you a good deal. He really concentrates on cruises from the Port of Southampton, especially if you're not familiar with cruising. He's got lots of good advice. Knows the market really well. Knows all different ships. Could advise which ship may suit you. I certainly enjoy travelling from the Port of Southampton. As I was telling a friend earlier, I managed to go from Dock Gate to through the check-in, drop my bag off, Got my boarding pass, walked on the gangplank, headed up to the Sky Lounge, ordered a rum, sat down, enjoyed my rum 45 minutes later. Don't think you could find any other holiday which started so quickly. Oh, yep, yeah, I saw up shipmate uh, Joe. Dietrich correctly says it was Britannia the winter Rotterdam. That's right, I think I said Aurora. Nothing on that one. What's going on this one? Nope, nothing on this one. Still waiting for ship. Yes, that's right. Sorry, it was Britannia that went off in the middle of the day with 600 odd contractors on board. And then she goes heading past the Queen Elizabeth terminal. Uh, shipmate Ben Joyce says that she's 
He believes he's back in two weeks' time. Yes, I think it's about two weeks' time. Oh, he's working, scheduled to work on her. Mm, I think it might be her first arrival. It's about two weeks' time. I know it was just over two weeks for the refit. Ah, oh, shipmate Ben Joyce also happens to know the, the, not exactly the numbers, but says it wasn't very busy on board. Okay, that. No, that's not what's going on here. There we go. There's a few people out on their balconies. No flag waving today. Probably not the weather for it, I have to say. Yeah, it's currently around 12 C, gusting up to 16 knots. I'm going to have a quick look at Aurora on the map. Ah, oh, well. What I did notice was that, as I thought, so we've got Aurora, it's at the other end of port. Here's Aurora. And she does actually have a tug there as well, so fits at east. I did wonder, so once the wind gets round to about 20 knots, it does seem to require the assistance of a tug to help manoeuvring in the port. So I thought perhaps there might be a tug there. So I'm guessing she's... I haven't heard anything on the radio, but I'm guessing she's on her way. I'll put the radio back on so we can see anything going on. Oh, I think I have some passage in numbers here as well. So Sky Princess sails with... 4,000 passengers on board, 1357 crew. So she's got more passengers on board than I believe that she has maximum capacity for. I'm not sure why. And Aurora is also departing with 1780 passengers on board. That's 94.9% occupancy with 769 crew. Having a look down the other end of oh well, no. there's a it looks like a Princess X95 on the dock there next to all the containers ready to be shipped across. Now uh, we can't quite see at the moment, but on the right hand side of the screen we will see Aurora head our way shortly. Big screen on top of Princess Cruise there. Sky Princess was christened in the port of Everglades over in the States. We've got a new cruise ship arriving here at the end of the month, the new Cunard Queen Anne. Although I have noticed that the Queen Anne is being christened in Liverpool. I think it's a bit of a shame. Uh, ben Joyce complaining about the oil tanker. Yeah, there's a big oil tanker in the Mayflower Park. Yeah, she just departed this morning. I did see her go past. Said she was a massive eyesore. She was a massive eyesore, but it's always quite interesting to see tankers yeah, going past here in port, because normally they stay down at Fawley. We don't get them up this way. Did I turn the radio on? I don't think I did, did I? Put the radio on. Let's see if we can go. Put the radio on so we can hear any movements from Aurora. Currently stationary, but then I guess it's exactly 4.30. Oh yes, uh, Ben Joyce. Ben Joyce is full of information. You should be my man in the port, Ben. 
Uh, yes, that's right. There's a new celebrity cruise ship making a maiden UK season later this month. That's right, Celebrity Apex. Or oh, shipmate David Bevans. Because they do enjoy the coverage. They've been on 40 plus cruises. Wow, 40 plus. That is impressive. I hope uh, I hope your cruises all were all from the port of Southampton, should mate. Seems to be suffering with a bit of picture break up here. I think it's the weather. Seems to really cause the cameras to. Oh, that's not very happy there at all, is it? There we go. Oh, struggling with the internet here. Looks like the internet's causing me a little bit of a problem at the moment. It's all this cutting edge technology, it doesn't like the weather. Okay, that's working now. Uh, I thought I did see somebody mention they were going. Where did someone mention they were going? Oh, shipmate Alan Cole is, uh, says he's loving the stream. Can't wait to be aboard the Sky in June for a Land of the Midnight Sun cruise. Oh, that'll be quite interesting. Shipmate Ben Joyce's looks like he's gone off to the galley to fix himself some tea after a hard day at work. Well, thanks for that, Ben Joyce. We enjoy your added information as to the comings and goings here in the port. Struggling to my internet connection here. Might see some strange motions on the screens. Yep, no sign of Aurora just yet. Fitz Eastern is still there, tugging on the stern. Our shipmate David Bevans says yes, most were from Southampton. Yeah, he he mentioned earlier that he's been on forty plus cruises, most from Southampton. Excellent shipmate. I thought so. Uh, well, perhaps you might. It does make logical sense, doesn't it? I don't know where you live, but it's relatively easy to get to the port of Southampton. Then you're straight on board. None of this flying nonsense to somewhere else. Yeah, I think this windy weather needs is up does upset some of my technology. We need to perform a on off on some of the boxes. Oh, it seems to help. Turn it off, turn it back on again. Oh, shipmates, uh, the woods is asking about when. Sky Princess gets back. Does she have another 12 day cruise? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, shipmate. 
Uh, let's see if I could have a look. Let's see if I could help you out with that information. Mm, she comes back. Oh, you're right. Uh, no, she comes back on the 15th. Uh, departs same day. So she's obviously off on a cruise somewhere. <gasps> Shipmate drunk. Drunk? No, Druf. Rufus Kent said that Aurora Captain just warned of a rough night ahead. Yes, I am not surprised. That would be my prediction. I'm not sure where Aurora is off to. Let's check that information, shall we? I think Aurora is off on an eight. Yes, Aurora's off on an 18 night Mediterranean cruise via Lisbon, Barcelona, Sorrento, Ceviche, Genoa, Casablanca, and Tangiers and Ferrol. I'm suspecting that conditions will be fairly rough across the Bay of Biscay. I imagine that Sky Princess is equally going to have a bit of a rough ride. If I can zoom out a bit, I'll see if I can show you what I'm talking about. As what the give the tug. So as the ships, the two cruise ships, they'll come out of Southampton and they'll travel down the English Channel. They'll head on out towards Brittany here and then down here for La Coruna and Spain. This is the Bay of Biscay and this can be quite choppy. So yes, they'll be hitting the full brunt of weather coming up from the Atlantic. Hi there, Shabet. Joe Dietrich says, great to see live streams again. Yes, it's the more of a weather thing. Now the weather's improved, lighter in the evening. It's much easier to live stream. And of course, we've got more ships coming in. Super high tide for tonight. As you can see there, the actual and predicted it's way over predicted that's due to the wind blowing the water into Southampton and also a relatively well I say a lowish pressure of just nine nine millibars still quite windy though no rain for a change we've had several days now without range oh are we there shipmate Olivia Nicole may thanks subscribing if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do think about it. It does help out massively. The more crew we get on board, the bigger we can make the ship. I'm going to zoom back into closer to Aurora now, rather than being all the way out. It's... Yep, she's still at the dock. I think I've got the radio on, but I haven't heard anything. Yep, the radio is on. I haven't heard anything. Both ships, even at this time of year, are departing full. Sky Princess on our screen at the moment, heading off to La Caruna. She has 4,000 passengers on board, 109% occupancy, 13 57 crew. Aurora, uh, who is due to sail any moment now, has 1780 passengers on board, 94. 9% occupancy with 769 crew. <laughs> Shipmates. Uh... Shipmate Andrew Batty says the Bay of Biscay wins tonight. 53 kilometers an hour. Yep, not surprised. And then someone else, what did someone else say? Oh, Ellie Murley says there's a yellow weather warning along the south coast tonight in effect till tomorrow. I'm not surprised. It's going to be low wind, low atmospheric pressure, high wind speeds, and a high tide. 
it's going to cause definite problems. If you look here on the tide meter at the bottom of the screen here, as you can see towards midnight, it heads up quite a lot. They are forecasting a tide of 5.6 meters, which is very high. Oh, hoy there, shipmate John Bates. May thanks subscribing. Great to have your board, shipmate. Just having a quick look at Aurora. She's still in the dock. I haven't heard anything on the radio. Just show you that. There is Aurora at the other end of the port. SS Shield Hall. She'll be starting. This is a classic ship for the area. You can book up a, a trip on SS Shield Hall. I suspect she'll be covering the arrival of Queen Anne on the at the end of April. There's a whole flotilla of boats coming up Southampton Water, and the ABP is encouraging all small boats to get involved. It starts at 9:30. So at the moment, I'm trying to coordinate exactly where to live stream the arrival of Queen Anne from. Whether I'm going to live stream from a small boat in the flotilla or perhaps just from my cabin here as per usual what I really need is someone to man the controls I'll have to see what I can do Maybe I'll get Paul from Love Cruises over. He should be able to uh, operate things, I think. I'll have to give him a call. Uh, shipmate Drufus Kent says, Raw, not yet moving. No, nope, she's not yet moving. Nothing going on there. Oh, shipmate Dave Marston says he's off on May the 3rd to Norway or Britannia. Oh, you'll be able to experience uh, a fairly fairly newly refurbished ship. I think Britannia comes back towards the end of this month, so it might only be the second cruise on a refurbished Britannia. You'll have to let us know, shipmate Dave Marston, what the refurbished Britannia is like. I suppose if you've never been on Britannia before, you might not know much has changed. Oh, uh, excellent speller, Kevin, too, has popped a link there in the chat to the SS Shield Hall Queen Anne visit. I thought uh, I thought she'd been doing something. She normally does. There we go. It's on the uh, Friday, the 3rd of May. Oh, that's the evening. Oh, that's the launch event, not the arrival. So, yes, if you want to watch Queen Anne departing, Friday, the 3rd of May, and you can get a ticket on board Shield Hall for £46. And the, there'll be a live band on board, I suspect. You can follow, they'll follow the ship out, hooting and honking while they go. TripAdvisor's number one thing to do in Southampton, apparently. Well, they keep offering me free tickets. I should really go, shouldn't I? And see what it's all about. Oh, shipmate Derby, Derby ship says sold out. Oh, I did wonder that might be a problem. Shipmate Dean uh, Stroger says going on Britannia 21st of April. That must be, shipmate Gina, that must be the first cruise after the refit, I would think. Quick look at the other end of port. 
see if there's any signs of aurora. Nope, no signs of aurora. Oh, I should meet Dina Stroger, who mentioned that she's on Britannia on 21st of April, and I was questioning whether or not that was the first cruise off reef. It says, yes, it is. Well, that'll be exciting, won't it? A freshly painted, updated ship. I'll we'll probably have new shows as well, new acts, possibly new menus. Oh, gosh, that'll be, that will be exciting. It'll be like a whole new cruise experience. Oh, shipmate Dean Gardner's wind cruise cams coming back. Uh, as I mentioned it before, it's it's on a building that's covered in scaffolding, so at the moment you can't see anything. You can only see netting. So cruise cam will be down until the scaffolding is gone, and I don't know how long that'll be. Uh, the scaffolding will be up for. It was supposed to be until the end of May, but I works have overrun, so probably going to be for a few months longer. Oh, shipmate Dennis O'Leary makes a good point, says, saying that uh, he keeps subscribing on the telly. I want to go back. I'm unsubscribed again. Yes, this is a YouTube thing. I've heard about this from other people. That YouTube does have a habit of unsubscribing people. Yeah, so as uh, shipmate so as uh, shipmate I've lost Des Leary said yes he keeps getting unsubscribed yes if you even though you are subscribed shipmates do check because like I say well, YouTube does have it have a habit of unsubscribing people oh, shipmate Ben Joyce is uh, adding more information. He says he just wants to chip in. He said he can see she's still not left. He's talking about Aurora. Time of departure on Aurora is the time that all gangways, provisions, doors should be closed and secured and clear from the ship. It's not happened, does it? Actual departure time is up to half an hour after that. Ah, there we go. So we're not late. Uh, shipmate James Duffy says there could be some scaffolding enthusiasts in. Yes, you're probably right, shipmate. I'm sure there'd probably be a lot of people be quite keen to watch uh, some young men jumping around the scaffolding, fixing up cladding. I'm not sure they'd want to be on YouTube, though. Oh, shipmate Ellie Murley says that the uh, button on your telly can tell you're unsubscribed when you're actually not as well. Oh dear, yep. Yep, I've heard a lot of those sorts of things. Ah, aha, Aurora is on the move now. She's just taking a little move away from the dockside. With the assistance of Switzer Eastern. And then she'll be heading down our way very shortly. We'll see her on Port Cam. If that's if, if Port Cam. There we go. We'll see her on the right hand side of our screen. Oh, probably, probably about five or ten minutes. I'll keep an eye on that. At the moment, I seem to be having. Internet and network connectivity issues, but that's not your problem. That's my problem. Just trying to see if I can cajole this old ship into shape.
Yes, so the flotilla for the arrival of Queen Anne will actually start, I think they're due to start at 9.30, somewhere about where the Sky Princess is now. Shipmate Joe Dietrich says the Queen Anne is in San Marino at the moment. Yeah, I think I'd probably rather be in San Marino as well. Probably got better weather. Yeah, so Queen Anne will start here. And head up Southampton Water with a flotilla of small craft around her. So she'll probably go nice and slowly. Lots of small craft can't go too fast, so she doesn't want to outpace them. Shipmate Ben Joyce is saying that the local scaffolders were playing Dolly Parton this morning. Yeah, no, I certainly would get a copyright strike if they were they were playing Dolly Parton on the, the radio, that's for sure. Just trying to encourage Hawk Cam to play along, but it's 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 uh, it's being stubborn. Come on, Hawk Cam! You were doing so well for so long. Why stop now? The Aurora has moved further away from the dockside. Looks like East Tug Eastern is still alongside towing. Yeah, we haven't quite got the chance to see Aurora just yet. She'll be coming on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, shipmate Ben Joyce has uh, got his ear on the rumour mill. Suggests that Queen Anne will be proceeding up past Cashot speed at six knots, meaning she won't have to slow for the high. Not, but yes, I would imagine that's, that's what I would imagine would happen. If you've got a flotilla of small craft, you don't really want to be blasting up Southampton water at 16, 18 knots. A lot of small craft won't be able to do that. It'd be too, be too fast for them. Most, especially if they're yachts with a, with a motor. They've probably limited around seven or eight knots. Power boats go a bit faster. And if they want everyone to join in. Uh, should we ask Ellie Burley to ask about that boat? Yes, it's on the... that. Uh, it's, I think it's a Princess X95. Well, it's not. It's certainly a princess. And yes, it's on the dock side. I'm guessing they'll lift it into the container ship and export it somewhere around the world. Where exactly? I'm not sure. Oh, come on, Paul Cam. Port Cam is a cantankerous old devil. Come on. There we go.
Yeah, that's a good point Ben Joyce is making about the water salute. Yeah. You certainly can't have a water salute at uh, 20 knots. Yes, it'll be uh, a nice and steady drive up Southampton water. With a good old water salute tugs for a tier of small craft. Trying to get port cam. There we go. So here is Aurora coming in on port cam from the other end of the docks. Appear to be still having some sort of combination of network and internet problem. Oh, look at that. It's just nothing happens and it jumps massively. That's Aurora departing Port of Southampton. She's off on an 18, I think it was 18 night cruise. 18 night Mediterranean cruise via Lisbon, Barcelona, Sorrento, Ceviche, Genoa, Casablanca, Tenches, and Ferrol. And someone's already mentioned that the captain of Aurora has warned of a potentially choppy crossing this evening. I think it's going to be windy in the Bay of Biscay. Oh, uh, hi there, shipmate. Gainer England is just signed up to become a leading hand and member of the channel. Many thanks, shipmate. Welcome aboard. Grab yourself, Grog, on the way to the galley. Our shipmate Ben Joyce says that the the uh, dock workers working on Aurora are probably exposed today in all that wind. Having uh, port cam issues here. cam does need yeah I think I need to put it down put it out of its misery just not up to the job anymore I think it may have may have had its last broadcast ah uh, is there somebody on Aurora somebody says they're on deck C midships is that Drufox Kent. Well, I'll keep an eye out if I could if I could move the camera. I seem to have lost all control and contact with port cam. Shipmate, a life in the parks. This is on a three sailings from Southampton this summer. Royal Caribbean, Anthem of the Seas, P&O, Ventura and Celebrity Apex. Oh, you've got a whole variety of ships there. Excellent. Oh, I think I'm going to have to... Oh, God. Uh, I'm stuck here, shipmates. Technology is battling with me. I think technology may have won. Boy, there, Rab Nesbit. Oh, I see all you've popped up. Yeah, there's a bit of a bit of a solar eclipse. I think it was down in Cornwall. We didn't really get much on the south coast here. 
I think the USA is where you need to be. Going to have to switch to a different camera. Oh, hi there, shipmate Doreen Porrin. Many thanks for your kind ovation. That's, that's very kind of you indeed. Always oh, very welcome. There we go. We've got Aurora coming out from the right hand side. Yeah, Port Cam is stubbornly refusing to work. just have to revert to uh, this camera this alternative view camera oh working now oh, come on port cam oh, i see a few passengers on board no can't so uh... Yep, I think port cam is for the scrappy. Poor Davy Jones's locker. Yeah, shipmate Ben Joyce. Yeah, so there's a lot of buffering. Oh, there's, I'm having, I've run into some networking issues today. I'm really struggling with connection. Dave Massey says, bigger hammer. Yes, there's always space in the toolbox for a bigger hammer. This is very true. Laura here off on her 18 night voyage. Just passing the red funnel terminal here in the port of Southampton. Just passing Mayflower Park. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm really struggling with internet connection here for some reason. And network, it's all. It's all not going very well. Seventeen hundred and eighty passengers on Aurora, seven hundred sixty nine crew. Pretty much a full ship, ninety five per cent occupancy. Oh, it looks like we can see the tug spits at Eastern following Aurora out. Heading back to her berth. Oi there, Sylvia Hearn says, uh, nice to be back and see all the ships coming and going. Glad you like it, shipmates. Once I've ironed out a few of these technical gremlins, we should be having a, a lot more ships, TVs, activity. Live streaming from a small craft when Queen Anne arrives, the Cunard ship. I'm struggling with network issues here, shipmates. I might have to. Uh, I might have to unplug port cam. I have a suspicion that port cam is is not helping my cause. Just 
at all. I haven't heard anything from the radio either. Yeah, shipmate James Duffy's right, plenty of hammer action. Yeah, I'll end, uh, need to address the problem. Not quite sure where the problem lies at the moment. I've just moved cabin, so I've, I've had to reset up everything. And you know what technology's like, it's not uh, always very happy about moving, is it? Needs someone to caress it, to restart it, probably. So there we have. Quite a lot of activity going on now from Port Camp. They have the Aurora on the right hand side, just behind Town Keep here. One of the red jets whizzing in, and the one of the red funnels just snuck out just beforehand. Yeah, it's, I think Port Cam might be my downfall at the moment. I think this will be Port Cam's last broadcast. I think I'm going to have to bin a Port Cam, send it to the big. Scrapyard in the sky. See here that Aurora is underway, six point two knots just past the town key here that's where we're sort of seeing it on the camera heading off to dockhead here where she'll be able to pick up some speed down southampton water and off for a choppy night i think is the general consensus of opinion it's going to be a choppy night in the bay of biscay or quite wherever she's heading down the english channel english channel could be quite windy and choppy uh shipmate henry V says we'll be seeing some drone footage soon, Captain. I guess probably I haven't actually taken any drone footage in a long time. It's the drone's not very good if it's wet or if it's windy or it's wet and windy, and if it's wet or windy and it's dark, or if it's wet and windy and dark. So this time we get much improved. I will definitely try and get some uh, probably some footage in of Queen Anne, although I'm unlikely to be droning Queen Anne while we're filming. So I'll have to do something afterwards on one of her later visits, I should imagine. like to zoom in a bit more on the ship but I don't think yeah oh yeah that is poor cam is giving me some brief control oh. I spoke too soon I shouldn't have touched it Yep, I'm not going to touch Port Cam anymore. It's it's a very it's very very touchy this morning or this afternoon, I should say. Never mind, we'll have to revert to other cameras as she goes down south of the water. Just about to see over the top of the multi-stories. Just see her coming on the dock head on Netley Cam. There we go.
Yep, I'll, 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 I'm going to unplug. I think I'm going to go and unplug port cam. It's just, uh, I think that's, I think that's where my issues have come from. Yeah, let me go and unplug something. Yeah, I think that's improved the picture quality there. Yeah, it's definitely a different shape to Aurora. I think someone else pointed out earlier that she had a, a really pretty profile. She does have a pretty profile. I want very much a sloped back. Unlike some of the more modern ships which jam as many people on as possible. Of course, I think she's the oldest ship on the P&O fleet. Launched in... 19 sorry in 2000 january makes her almost 25 years old 24 years old a few people on board waving can't see any flags picking up speed now hope everyone is going to fill up at the buffet and then enjoy a night's sleep gently being rocked around. There's a question about is this camera back or public? No. Well not at this rate anyway. It's, it's proving to be very unreliable. So in in the bin, the port cam. Replacement camera coming soon. Right then, shipmates, I should carry on following the ships out. I'm going to have to put my technology head on and see if I can sort out where all these little gremlins are coming from. Oh, quite smoky there, out of the funnel. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that one, shipmates. And keep tuned, make sure you're subscribed so that you can be notified next time we go live. Next time we'll go live, it's a good question, when next time we go live have a look through the list i would imagine possibly eh, possibly on the uh the friday perhaps you've got two on friday so that's a possibility and there's a couple over the weekend and then two next monday or arcadia and the sky princess again so they're 
could be a good time. So we'll keep an eye on those. Hopefully the weather will be better. Uh, many thanks for all, the, all of the shipmates who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do think about subscribing. Thanks to all the patrons and PayPal donors. And of course, many thanks to the Blue Spanner crew who are always in the chat answering all your questions and provide me with all the fantastic information that makes me look so knowledgeable. Well, till next time, shipmates. Redjets and BTS all copy, thank you. The Aurora is just past lane to take outward bound. Britain, BTS all received, thank you.
Sergeant Cap, ATS, good afternoon to you. That's all received. Thank you. Hello, uh, Lantern VGS, good afternoon. This is the radio on approaching the hot boy outbound. Red Eagle VTS, that's all copied, thank you. 